Okay, let's talk about the MDTP, Intermediate Algebra Readiness Test. So if you're watching this video, I assume you're a college student in the wonderful state of California. So I'm actually born and raised and went to college in California myself. So uh, California uses this uh, MDTP test, and there's different tests for algebra and intermediate algebra and just beyond, but it's a readiness test basically to see if you can place into this particular level of math in college. So um, you probably already know that uh, and you're studying for it or you probably wouldn't be watching this video. Okay, so um, what we got here is a kind of a math practice problem, but I want to um, tell you a little bit about myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabit Class Math, middle and high school math teacher. and uh, done a lot in education for many, many years in mathematics. So um, I actually have a, a great, uh, a really comprehensive test prep course for the uh, MDTP Intermediate Algebra uh, Readiness Test. I'm going to leave the link to that in the description of this, uh, description of this video. But the um, purpose of this video here is to kind of give you a little pop quiz, okay? So Intermediate Algebra, um, it's kind of like your college algebra readiness. Now depending on your background, math background, you may or may not have uh, enough knowledge to solve this particular problem. So, but this would likely be on uh, this type of problem or, or this level of math would you're definitely going to le be learning this and you it could very well be on uh, the intermediate algebra uh, test. So if you don't fully understand that, uh, understand how to approach this problem, you know, don't don't worry about it. But if you think you do, then certainly go ahead and try. And of course, I'm going to solve it. It's actually not that difficult if you know how to approach it. Uh, but with that being said, if you want to go ahead and pause the video and give it a whirl, that'd be excellent. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Well, notice this problem at first glance, you might be like, oh, this is kind of easy, but really it would be easy if it's this, right? If this was, if the exponent, if the variable was, if, if there was, if this was reversed, if it was x squared equal to nine, you would be like, you know, you might have, your brain might have looked at this and be like, oh, well, I kind of see this. And I, all I have to do is just take the square root of both sides. So x is equal to plus or minus three. So that would be fantastic. But this is a quadratic equation, pretty simple and easy to solve that. But that's not what's going on here. Okay, what's going on is this is what we call an exponential equation. So I'm trying to figure out what power of uh, two to what power is equal to nine. So let's just kind of think about that. Two to the first power is just two, right? Two squared means two times two, so that's four. Two to the third power is what? Two times two times two, so that's eight. And we have two to the fourth power is two times itself four times. So that's two times two times two times two. That's 16. So we're trying to say, okay, two to the what power is nine? Well, if you kind of look at it, it's like, well, two to the third power is eight. That's pretty close to nine. Nine is right here. So two to the third power gave me eight, but two to the fourth power gives me 16. 16 is, you know, much further away from nine than eight is. So you just kind of reason through that common sense tells us that our answer should be like three point something or the other, right? So two to the three point, uh, I don't know, one or two or whatever the case is, going to be close to nine. So what we're talking about here is this is an exponential equation. So you can kind of see what's going on. Like, well, how do I figure this out? Well, this is a, a case study and the topic of logarithms, okay? This right here, logs logarithms and uh, when we have an exponential equation we use logarithms when we have a logarithmic equation we use exponential um, equations so this is a huge topic extremely important in mathematics and you could see why because I can't solve this problem without the ability to understand logarithms it's super important but if you do understand logarithms and if you're like oh okay I'm gonna use logarithms to solve this problem well if you understand that much and you're like, oh, this triggered a kind of like some memory, you know, then go ahead and pause the video and then go and use logarithms to solve this. So yes, you're going to be use, using logarithms to solve this uh, problem. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let me erase this. It's actually not that difficult if, of course, if you know how to do it, right? So what we're going to do is take the log of both sides, okay? Log base 10, just the L-O-G, 2x 
is equal to log9. So all I did was just take the log of both sides. Now, I want you to know something about logarithms. If I go into my calculator and I type in log9, okay, hit 9 and I hit the log button and then 9 and hit enter, I'm going to get some number. This is just a number, some sort of decimal. It's just a number. So it looks kind of weird, right, log9, but it's, just think of it as a, uh, any old number, okay? Now, here I have log2x. I need to know properties of logarithms. It's a really important one. And there's an extremely important one here where I can move this x in front of this log 2. So now this is going to become x log 2 is equal to log 9. Now, again, log 9, log of any number is just a number itself. So I have another number here. So this is like a coefficient, right? So this is no more difficult at this stage of the problem of like say x times 4 is equal to 8. Okay, now I wouldn't write x times 4 this way. I would, I would write the 4, right? 4x is equal to 8. So if I gave you this equation, you'd be like, oh, that's super easy. I just divide both sides of the equation by 4 and I get my answer, right? So same idea here. To get x, I just divide both sides of the equation by log 2, all right? And then you got your answer. So I'm not going to go ahead and actually calculate that because if you get this would be just uh, perfectly fine. If you didn't have a calculator, so that's log 9 divided by log 2, you could certainly go into your calculator and get the actual decimal. And again, it would be close to like that three point something or the other that we we're talking about. But that would be the solution to this exponential equation, right? Remember, so we have an exponential equation. We're going to be using logarithms to solve that. And if you know what you're doing, it's really not that bad, right? So again, um, for the intermediate algebra level, you could definitely uh, very well be um, tested on your, your knowledge of uh, logarithms. But um, in my particular course, I cover this and a ton of other stuff that you're going to want to know and be ready for. And you want to be ready for this exam. You want to place into the highest level possible in college. You don't want to waste a semester or two in a course that you really didn't need to take because that's just time and money, you know, away. But, you know, if you work hard to place into a course, I mean, two things, two good things are going to happen. One, you'll place into that higher level course. And two, by your efforts of studying, you'll do well in that course. Okay, so it's definitely a win-win situation. But, um, you know, you're going to have to really work hard to do well on these uh, MDTP um, readiness assessments. Okay, so let's go and wrap up this video. Again, uh, I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description of this video to my MDTP Intermediate Algebra uh, prep course. Very comprehensive. I think you really, if you like my teaching style, you'll you'll really love my course. I've been on YouTube for over 12 years. I literally have hundreds of uh, videos uh, on my uh, channel. So hopefully you'll consider subscribing. They definitely help you out, prepare for their, uh, this test. Hey, if you like this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and give me some feedback. What, what college are you going to? You're going to a, a Cal State uh, school, UC school? I'm not sure if, uh, private schools in California um, use the MTTP, so I don't know about that, but any feedback would be good feedback. Um, with that being said, I will say this, you know, in college, you got to work hard, you know, um, it always, you know, it's, it's not high school, right? So it pays because you're, you're, you're paying and, you know, you're paying to go to school. And the smartest way to do it is just to overwork. Don't underestimate, you know, how hard you have to study. It's always the best strategy I find is, hey, listen, the harder you work, the more you kind of over prepare for things, the smoother things will go. But I wish you all the best in your college efforts. Thank you for your time and have a great day.